make the transition to quarterback footwork concerning the three-step drop. Once I have my proper quarterback stance, my three-step drop consists of two words, drive, settle, okay? First word is drive, drive step. We want to drive away from the center. That's where we get our depth in the three-step drop. We don't get our depth by our steps two or three. Our depth comes from our first step. It's very important that we get the correct depth out of our first step. We do that most efficiently by driving, if I'm a right-hander, driving with the left leg. If I start to reach with my right leg, the leg gets outside of my body and now it acts as a brake, pushing me back forward. I need to drive with my left, drive with my left, allow my right leg to hang underneath the framework of my body so now it's prepared to make the transition into the settle steps, the crossover and the balance step. So drive step, not reach, very, very important. Your last two steps are settle steps. It's strictly to come to balance. As a quarterback, whatever the footwork may be for each particular play, the whole goal is to get us set up in a throwing position. When we are in a correct throwing position, we can do some damage. If we're not in a good throwing position, Lord knows what's going to happen. We can make a good throw. We may not make a good throw. But one thing's for sure, we will be more inconsistent if we're not in a good throwing position. Drive, then settle with our next two steps. It should be one big step. It should be two little steps. The rhythm, quarterback is about playing, is about being in rhythm. Playing with tempo, being in rhythm. Not playing too fast, not playing too slow, having that perfect tempo for each play. The rhythm of the three-step drop, if I clap my hands, should be like this. One, two, three. Big, then little. Drive, then settle. Drive, then settle, okay? For a right-handed quarterback, if I'm throwing to the right, the biggest, most important characteristic throwing to the right is closing down my left shoulder. As I go to throw to the right, it's a natural tendency to be lazy with this left shoulder and not close it down to the midpoint of my target. If I don't close it down to the midpoint of my target and I leave it open, I can no longer fire my hips and it's an all-arm throw. I want to close the shoulder down to the midpoint of my target. Now I'm in good throwing position to make a nice velocity throw. Throwing to the left. As I drive, throwing to the left, making sure that my, my shoulders are parallel to the ground, perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. My settle steps are now a little bit more involved. They're a little bit more detailed. First things first, I must heel kick. I heel kick with my crossover step, making sure that my toes point back at 45 degree angles toward the line of scrimmage, and then I pivot. I pivot around. Now I've got my hips square to my target. I can step slightly left, put my shoulder to the midpoint, and make the throw. You do not want to punch step. If you punch step with your crossover, now you get over here to the left guard. You're mad at your left guard because he's fighting a three technique and giving up space. It's not his fault. It's yours. You need to stay in your own space. No punch step. Throwing to the right, close my left shoulder down for a right-hander. Throwing to the left for a right-hander, heel kick, pivot. Imagine there's an imaginary line going down the center of your body. You're working around that imaginary line, staying in your quarterback space, allowing your lineman to work and block the front to give you the needed protection. The last thing in a three-step drop. I don't prefer to reset or hitch with a three-step drop. Once I start to reset and hitch with a three-step drop, from underneath the center, not from the gun, but from underneath the center, number one, I become late to my three-step routes. Number two, I've now decreased the separation from my line and myself as a quarterback. So my technique is once I get here and the route hasn't come open yet, if I'm in proper throwing position with 70% of my weight on my back foot, I should be able to hold for that split second and then make the throw. If I throw on the left, I heel kick, pivot, I hold, and then make the throw. There's going to be some throws that are so close that the receiver must see you throw the football. That's where your hold technique comes in. You've got to hold, not reset or hitch to where now I'm moving up into the line of scrimmage. Okay, three-step drop. That first step, that's where you get your depth in the three-step drop. You don't get your depth by steps two and three. You get your separation from center and the offensive line by your first step. The way you're going to get maximum depth from your first step is to be able to use a drive step. Too many quarterbacks reach. They reach with their right foot. What happens is now their foot comes outside of their hip and their body and their, their leg is actually using as a brake to push them that way. It's just like running a 40. When I'm driving out in that drive phase of the 40, those first 10 to 20 yards, if I start to get out here, what happens? Now my hamstring acts as a brake and it slows me down. It needs to be up underneath my hip to where it's a piston and propelling me forward. It's the same thing here on my drive step. I've got to drive with the left foot, 
boom, right there. My right foot, see there, never comes outside of the framework of my body. Once it does, it now acts as a brake. Okay? So it's there to be able to make the transition to the crossover. So it's a drive step. Okay, drive step. So first things first, put the balls down. We're gonna go, we're gonna go 10 yards that way, okay? And all I want you to do is when I say ready hit, I just want you to work on the drive step. Boom. Get the extension with the left, the drive step, okay? Making sure that my right, what happened to my right leg there? What? It never got outside the framework, right? It never reached. You drive with the left, don't reach with the right. Here we go. Ready? Hit! Drive with the left. Drive with the left. Good. Good. Come on back. Start right there and come back this way. Okay, the other thing is make sure that my feet are parallel to the line of scrimmage. Once you get into this action, look at my shoulder. Can't see anything left. If they're parallel, I can keep my shoulder open. Okay? So you may have to make yourself think, I'm going to take my feet and I'm going to point them toward the end zone. Now, you can't do that naturally. You'd break your ankle. But if you make yourself think that, they will become parallel because some of you may be used to open it up. The other thing is, if my feet are parallel, once I get to the top of my drop, I can fire. If I do this, look where my energy's going. Just like running a shuttle, right? If I come to touch the line on a shuttle and my foot is open, where's all my energy going, my momentum? I can't get back that way efficiently enough, right? So when I go to touch the line here, I gotta be boom, it's gotta be there. Now my adductor and adductor's working to get back that way, okay? So playing quarterback with the footwork is not about how fast you do it, it's about how efficient you do it. Because most of the time the footwork is married with their route, right? You're not gonna be in a three step drop and throw an 18 yard comeback. Not gonna happen. Okay, unless you're in the gun and you've already, you've got some time there. Okay? Alright, so come on back. Right there, start there and drop back to me. Extend, drive with the left foot. Drive with the left foot. Ready? Hit! Drive. Leave the right alone. Leave the right alone. Good. Okay, making sure that your feet stay parallel. All right, back on the line. Okay? All right, let's do this. Let's go. So we've got our drive step, driving with the left. Number two, the last two steps, two and three, are called settle steps. It's just for you to come to balance. You're getting your depth off of number one. You're going to come to balance off of two and three. So they can't be too big. If they get too big, what happens? I've got to reset my feet to throw. It's too late. Three-step drop. I want to be able to get to my third step and I'm ready to throw at any time. Okay. In my opinion, there is no reset on a three-step drop underneath the center. No reset for hitch step. None of that. I get there, I'm throwing now, or I'm going to hold and wait for that thing to come open. If two and three are, are the right depth, I can hold. If they're not, I'm off balance and I have to reset. If you reset, number one, it causes you to be late. Number two, what's it do? Getting closer to who? O-line. And you're getting mad at the O-line because they're fighting that guy and they're fighting your butt off and they're backing up, but you're moving into them. Give them their space, okay? Drive, settle, all right? So three-step drop in your brain should feel like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Everybody do it, rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Big, little, drive, settle, drive, settle. One, two, three. Everybody got it? One, two, three, okay? One, two, three. It's all about rhythm and tempo. That's the quarterback position. Rhythm and tempo, not how fast, not how you know, how good I look, the rhythm and tempo to get me where? Back to throwing position where I feel most comfortable. That's the main goal. Because when I'm in throwing position, there ain't nobody can stop me. But I stop myself if I don't get in throwing position, okay? Get your quarterback stance, staggered or square. Think about all those fundamentals, hands down, hanging down, nice and relaxed. Go ahead and widen, Nick, just a little bit. Yeah, that's better, that's better, good. Good, eyes up, eyes up. When I say hit, you're going to take three-step drop. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hit. One, two, three. Good. So, that's good. When you get to the back, you should be able to feel, am I leaning? Am I too far forward where I have to reset? Where am I? Am I right there in throwing position? I can make a throw. If I'm right there, you know you're doing it right. Also, check your feet. Making sure your feet are parallel. Ready? Hit. 
One, two, three. More drive, Isaac. More drive. More drive. Instead of stepping out, drive out. See, boom. Really, if you're going to drive out, this, this, if you're really thinking about driving this way, you should not get outside. Okay? Because now you're swinging. If I'm driving, I'm right here. Boom. Look at the right. It actually what? Comes inside and hangs instead of swing. Yeah. Now drive. You got me? All right, here we go. Drive, then settle. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Drive, settle. Good. Good. Leave it alone. Get more, get more out of this left leg. Get more out of this left leg. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Drive, settle. Good. Good. Two more. Ready? Hit. Drive, settle. Good. 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 Ready? There you go. Ready? Hit. Drive, settle. Good. Now you can get a little bit more with that first step. Okay, you can get a little bit more. That means you need to drive more here and then let that right leg, don't put it down. If I drive and put it down fast, I've taken away my drive, okay? Let that right hand leg hang a little bit more so I can drive. All right, balls up. I'm going to get a couple. Throw into your partner. Partners, be ready. Here we go, okay? So, got a lot of stuff to think about, man, right? We got our quarterback stance. We got a three-step drop. Uh-oh. We got our throwing motion, upper body fundamentals, lower body fundamentals. That's about 20 things. Four times four, that's 16 things right there I've given you to think about. And that's before the ball even hits your dude. You know what I'm saying? So, what's your swing thought? Think of something. All right, what's going to lock me in? What's going to lock me in? You know what I'm saying? What's that thing swing thought? And it, it, may, it may not come to you right now. Just think about it. Just keep thinking about it. Okay, here we go. I say ready. You're in quarterback position. That ball should be where? Opposite hand. Yep, snap it to yourself because you never get a perfect snap. You're going to take a three-step drop, drive and settle. Once you hit that third step, now you're in throwing motion. You're stepping slightly left. Your shoulder's coming to the midpoint, and you're using your throwing fundamentals. Okay, here we go. Ready, hit. Good, good. Make sure that you don't transfer the weight too fast. Okay, stay back here with those shoulders parallel, stay loaded, and let that weight come natural. Because if I get here too fast, then what happens? I have to bend and it's an all-arm throw, I don't use any of this. Okay, here we go. Ready, hit. Good, good. Now let that hand, let your hands dangle more so you can feel what that feels like. Because one thing about being under center, the first thing you have to do is seat the ball. Okay, you have to seat it. That's what they call seat, seat the ball. Whether it's a handoff seat, and then I go, okay? Same thing as uh, drop back. Boom, seat. Now my seat position's here, okay? So you start here, not here, because that's not where you're going to get it, okay? Here we go. Ready? Hit. Drive. Good. Now around and not bending, right? You feel that? That's where that ball goes. Whoop. You both, you and Isaac. Whoop. It goes like that, because right there at the end, you're jerking it, thinking you guys show me how strong your arm is. Your arm's strong enough. I don't need to see it. I know it's there. Let your body make it stronger for you, okay? Here we go. Ready, hit, drive. That's better, Isaac, much better with the drive. Much better, okay, here we go. Ready, hit, one, two, three. Okay, good, now around, not over top, right? So you got here in good position. Now I'm stepping slightly left, shoulder comes here, and I come there, not there, okay? Ready, hit, one, two, three. Good, good. A little bit bigger first step, that means more drive, not reach, more drive. And your two and three just needs to be that much more smaller, okay? All right, here we go. Ready, hit. There you go, good, good, okay? This is a great drill to use these lines because now you can tell if you're going to be stepping in the bucket or not. What that means is if I step in the bucket, I come off the midline and now I'm off and I'm, I'm off course. And now I'm over here on my left guard throwing, and I'm mad at him because he's in my way. Well, it's because I'm not in my space. I got in his space, okay? So using this line allows you to be straight back and, and is a teaching tool for you without having to have a cone or anything. It's a line on a football field, all right? So left foot goes on the line. Left foot, yeah, left foot goes on the line. Go ahead and get your quarterback stance, okay? Now, throwing to the right. Biggest thing for right-handers is you must close down the right, uh, the left shoulder. What happens is, even me, when I go to throw to the right, I leave my shoulder open. Now I don't use my hips and it's an all-arm throw because I'm lazy and I just throw it out there. Instead of closing the shoulder down to where? 
midpoint of my target, right? Stepping slightly left and now using my hips to throw, okay? So that's the biggest thing, throwing to the right, closing your lead shoulder down to the midpoint of your target. Do not let that thing lag behind, okay? All right, here we go. Drive, settle, and then as you're going to throw to your partner, making sure you're closing your shoulder down, you got your partner over here to the right as if you're throwing a hit, okay? Here we go. Feet in the ground, Nick. That's it. Good. Ready? Hit. One, two, three. Good. Parallel shoulders. Parallel shoulders and then get more of a shoulder. Really exaggerate that shoulder turn. Remember, we're in a drill, right? We're in a drill. In drills, over-exaggerate it. That way in live action, you ain't got to worry about it. Exaggerate your shoulder turn. Ready? Hit. Good. Good. Now, see how you got forward, right? Weight going forward, that, that's perfect. That's a good teaching tool for you. You guys got to get to where you can teach yourself and you can correct yourself. Can't have a guy always looking at you, okay? And you know that by the fundamentals. So John, as he went to throw, he had good shoulder turn, but he got to his left foot too early, and then he was like this. What's that telling him? His weight distribution. He didn't stay back long enough, okay? He didn't allow that thing to just come to right there. He got forward too fast, and now it becomes an all-arm throw. Where's the ball? Low, okay? Not because of his arm, because of his fundamentals in his feet. Okay, here we go. Ready, hit. Drive more, Isaac, instead of reach. That was a reach step. That was old school. That was old school, Isaac. Okay, and the way you need to think about driving is this leg needs to come inside. Once you start to do that, you're reaching like crazy. You know what I mean? If you let this leg just hang and come inside, that's going to lock in your brain. I got to drive, man. I got to drive from here, okay? All right, here we go. Ready, hit. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Now you got to get your feet parallel and you're good. You got a tendency to do that. You know what I mean? And that's your natural walk, right? Like this, right? That's your natural walk. So you got to correct that to where I get to there, not there. Okay? Now right, here we go. Ready? Hit. Good, Isaiah. A little bit more drive. You can get that much more depth, which for you would be fantastic, right? Because yeah. right now we're not 6'5. So. The more depth you can get, the better off you're going to be, okay? Ready? Hold on, my bad. Scholar, make sure those cleats are in the ground. You don't want to be up on your toe, okay? There you go, right there. Good. Ready? Hit. Drive. Good. Good. Make sure those uh, feet are parallel. If my feet aren't parallel, that means my shoulders closed down and I have no chance to throw it to the left-hand side. None. And the defense knows that, too. That's uh, You guys take five steps that way, and you guys move to the cone in front of you and Cole you go up to the blue line good okay now we're throwing to the left okay throwing to the left is this I'm driving boom I'm right there next step is my crossover my settle steps I've got a heel kick boom and pivot around okay so we don't want to punch that because if we if we come here and we punch step where am I left guard man I'm in his way again okay I'll I want to make sure that there's an imaginary line going around my, uh, down through my body. Not only am I throwing around that imaginary line, but I'm working around that imaginary line to stay in my space, okay? So, I'm here. I drive, heel kick, pivot around. Now look. Where are my hips? They're open, right? Where did I get to? My what? My what position? Throwing position. That's my whole goal when every drop is getting to throwing position. If I'm in throwing position, I can do some damage. If I'm not, it ain't good, right? So once I get to here, even though I started there like this, I'm here now. Where am I? I'm back to our drill. Throwing position, ball placement, shoulder turn, follow through. I'm ready to rock and roll. You know what I mean? That's the goal, to get into throwing position, okay? Heel kick, pivot. That's the key. Heel kick. The way I heel kick is take my toe and put it back to the line of scrimmage 45 degrees with the crossover. Yeah. Crossover, boom, right there. Now pivot around. Yes. Because if I don't pivot, look here. If I don't pivot, I haven't done anything. Only way I can get over there is what? Swing the gate. Now my steps are off. My fundamentals are off. And most importantly, my consistency. You may be able to make that throw. But if you did it 10 times that way, you're going to be about 5 out of 10 on air. And definitely 5 out of 10 against good competition. If you get your feet right, you'll be 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 against air, 
7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 against good competition. All because of that one little simple thing. Okay? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Heel kick, pivot, throw. Ready? Hit! Good. So you stayed here, and then did you feel that? Exactly. So you got a heel kick, pivot around. When you heel kick, pivot, you should be off that line about a foot. And now my foot, my, my feet are ready, my uh, hips are open. All right, here we go. Ready? Hit. More heel kicks, Tyler. More, more. So I want to take this left leg and point it back to the line of scrimmage, and then pivot around. And now look at my hips to go. Yeah, that's where you want to be, right there. Okay. Good. Do it again. Here we go. Ready? Hit. Okay. Good. Now you've got a hybrid going. So you had no heel kick, but you're smart enough to go, man, I need to get over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So put the heel kick with the pivot and you got it. Making sure look. Boom. Heel kick right there. Pivot around. Now look at my hips. Boom. Right to my target. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. There you go. Good. Ready? Hit. Better. There you go, Skylar. Good. See how easy that was now? See? Good. Good. Here we go. Heel kick, pivot. Drive, settle. Heel kick, pivot. Here we go. Throw into the left. Ready? Hit. Better. There we go. See now? See now. Now what we got to do, your hips were perfect. You heel kick, you came around. Now what we got to do is stay here, step slightly left, put the shoulder back, and come there instead of there. It came over the top, got to the left foot too far, uh, too fast, and now that's why the ball went to his to your left. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once I get it, where, where am I now? Sorry. Throwing position, man. Boom! Right there. Okay, make sure my belly button ends up in the midpoint. Here we go. Ready? Hit! Better, better. Now, it's all right here, man. It's all right here. You got too much of this going on. Parallel. Parallel straight. Okay? Here we go. Ready? Hit! Good, good. Ready? Hit! No heel kick, Isaac. None. Got it? Yeah, you, yeah, you, no heel kick. None at all. No heel kick. Better, better. Now stay back. Stay back. See how you kind of, you really want the inch to get there? Don't. Don't. That ball is going to get there faster and more consistent with more accuracy if you don't get there too fast. You know what I mean? That's why a ball is hitting him in the knees. That may be good for high school. College, it ain't. Pro, it definitely ain't. You'll get cut. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Hit. He'll kick, pivot, stay back. Better. Much better. Now come around. You got to fight the, the natural tendency to get lock legged because you're, you're tall and lanky. Okay, Nick, so see where you are? Way over here, man. Left guard's over here fighting like crazy, and you're mad at him. Right. Whose fault is it? Mine. Mine, yeah, exactly. So look, I'm here. Watch this foot. I got to put it back there. Heel kick. I got to pivot around. Boom. Now I'm here, not over there. You went here, and then whoo, oh, coming off the pitcher's mound, right? Hit a baseball. Don't pitch a baseball. Here we go. Ready? All right, hold on. Feet in the ground. Feet in the ground. There you go. Ready? Hit. Drive. Okay, better, better.